Good morning, sir. I, Shringdema Karma of Peering Roll Number 171 of BSc Third Semester, Department of Physics, would like to present my presentation on secondary iron mass spectrometer. Further, I would like to highlight my content. Here, I have mentioned introduction, basic overview, principle of SMS, iron gun, energy and mass analyzer, iron detector, advantages and limitation, application of SMS, and lastly, conclusion. Starting with the introduction, here I have explained about the mass spectrometer and secondary iron mass spectrometer. First, I would like to explain you about the mass spectrometer. Mass spectrometer is an analytic tool useful for the measuring mass to charge ratio of one or more molecular present in a sample. Secondary iron mass spectrometer is a technique used to analyze the composition of a solid surface and the thin flame by just picturing the surface of the spectrum with a focused primary iron beam and collecting and analyzing a ejection secondary iron. Here, here I have shown a diagram which, which tells about the secondary iron spectrometer. Here is the basic overview of the secondary iron mass spectrometer. In this, in this figure, <coughs> We can see that it has an iron gun, primary beam, extraction electrode, mass analyzer, sample, secondary ions, and a detector. Moving toward the principle of SMS. Firstly, the full form of SMS is the secondary iron mass spectrometer. <clears throat> Bombardment of a sample surface with a primary ion beam, IP, followed by mass spectrometer of the emitted secondary ion, IS, constitutes secondary iron mass spectrometer. SMS is a surface analyzer technique used to characterize the surface and subsurface region of the material. It has used in two modes, static SMS mode and dynamic SMS mode. Now let me explain you about the iron gun. Electrons into a vacuum chamber, small amount of argon gas, it become ionized by interacting with free electron and forming a plasma. The plasma is then accelerated through a series of at least two highly charged grids and become an ion beam, moving at fairly high speed from the aperture of the device. O2 plus, O negative CS, AR plus, ZT plus, GA plus, etc. Beam angle 0 to 60 degree, beam energy 0 0.5 to 20 electron volt, beam diameter is equal to type, uh, typically 10 to 100 micrometer, extremely 0 0.1 micrometer. Now let me explain you about the energy analyzer and mass analyzer. Energy analyzer. Ion has different energy, electrostatic energy analyzer, low energy strongly deflected than high, energy ion, movable energy split used to selected energy ion. Mass analyzer. BS ion pass through magnetic field, ion are act forced and on right angle to magnetic field and ion beam direction. Defection of the ion species is given by the equation m by q is equal to b square by 2v into r square. About the iron detector, modern mass spectroscopy has more than one detector. There are four types of detector. Number one, electron multiplexer, ferratic cup, micro channel plate, rare image detector. First, about the electron multiplexer, it has a series of diodes. Each diode is connected to a resistance or chain, as you can see in the diagram or figure. The first diode is at ground potential, so that both positive or negative ion may be detected. The last diode can be B by W plus 150 volt to 350 volt, depending on the age and type of multiplier. When a BS ion strikes the first diode, it may produce a few secondary ions. This ions, this secondary electrons are accelerated to the second diode that is held at a slightly high positive potential. Finally, these ions are passed to connecting system. So second is Faraday cup. The Faraday cup detector consists of a hollow conducting electrode connected to the ground with a high resistance. The ion hitting the collector causes a flow of electron from ground through the resistor. The resulting potential drop across the resistor is amplified. A plate held at about minus 80 volt in front of the collector prevent any ejection secondary electron from escaping and causing an enormous reading. Third is the microchannel plate. It has an ion image plate consists of an era of miniature electron multiplexer composed of lead glass. Typically, the ion multiplier or channel are about 10 micrometer in diameter, 400 micrometer long and about 70 from the perpendicular to the plate face. They are located about 12 micrometer between centers and number up to 2000 in a 25 micrometer era. The front face of the plate is healed at ground potential while the back plate may be between positive 1000 to 2000 volt. And rest of the things is just like the electrode multiplexer. Last detector is the fourth one that is rare image detector. The resistive anode encoder is a position sensitive detector. It is used to digita digi digitally record ion images. The resulting ion plus strikes a resistive plate comprising a thick resistive film deposed on a ceramic plate. The geometry of the detector are designed to avoid imaginary distortion. 
the charge plus is partitionally of the four electrodes at the corner of the plate where x and y positions is calculated by the given equation that is x is equal to ib plus ic divided by ia plus ib plus ic plus id and for y is ia plus ib divided by ia plus ib plus ic plus id talking about the advantages and limitation advantages all element detectable or isotropy can be distinguished detection limitation of ppm for most elements and ppb for the favorable elements good depth revolution resolution 2 to 5 nanometer and lateral resolution 20 nanometer congruent to 1 micrometer insulator analyzable chemical information obtained from relative molecular ion abundance about the limitation mass interferences secondary ion yell are often matrix dependent numerous secondary standard are required to quantify data flat surface required for best depth resolution and for iron micros microcopy destructive analyzers now the applications of sms there are so many applications of secondary iron mass spectrometer but few which i have selected are composition of solid surface surface analyzer ion mapping depth profile profile trace detection in semiconductor analyzer and depth profiling of thin layers imaging of surfaces lastly the conclusion secondary iron mass spectrometer can be used to analyze the composition of organic and inorganic solids it can generate spatial or deep depth profile of the elemental or molecular concentration to detect impurities or trace element especially in the semiconductor and thin filaments secondary iron mass have spatial resolution on the order of 0 0.5 to 5 micrometer the depth resolution around 2 to 5 nanometer detection limitation for trace element range between 10 to the power 12 to 10 to the power 16 atom per centimeter cube that is around pb is perpen is congruent to ppm sms is the most sensitive elemental and isotopic surface microanalyzer technique however very expensive last but not the least i would like to express my special thank to our subject teacher Dr. C.P. Khatiawari sir for giving us this opportunity to do this wonderful project on the topic secondary iron mass spectroscopy which also helped me in doing a lot of research and I also come to know about so many things. Secondly, I would like to, th like to thank my parents and friends who helped me a lot in finalizing the project within the limitation time frame. Thank you sir.